welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, April 5th. Let's see what's going on with Libra. At the heart of your reading, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands reversed. So I feel like we're talking about a couple here. One is the provider. And the other feels taken for granted. It could be one is more focused on work and hasn't been showing much affection to their person. Or it's also possible that someone is just experiencing some low self-esteem and it has nothing to do with the actions of their King of Pentacles. It might be caused by just something within them or an outside experience and the King of Pentacles could be um, like uh, an emotional rock, like someone dependable and reliable. I'm here for you. If you're feeling unsteady, then come hang out with me because I will steady you. challenge is the king, sorry, knight of cups in reverse. Someone may have just confessed something to their partner. If that's the case, I feel like it would have been the, the King of Pentacles confessing something that hurt the, the Queen of Wands feelings and made her feel like the King of Pentacles doesn't desire her. Show me Libra's focus. The world in reverse. You either feel stuck in a situation that you really want to come to an end or you might feel like something's coming to an end and be resisting that energy. Show me what led up to this for Libra. Page of Swords in reverse, bad news, something you didn't want to hear. Something that was difficult to say for the person who said it. Something was difficult to hear for the person that heard it. What's the energy of the environment? Judgment in reverse. That can, that can be the delivery of bad news. Um, a decision that goes against what you wanted to hear. It can also be changing your mind or someone letting you know that they have changed their mind. It 
connected to the world energy, it, it can also be the decision to not revive something, the decision to not breathe new life into a situation. Yeah, it's um, something's going to be released. Clarifying the judgment in reverse, we have the Two of Pentacles. So we could be re revisiting a decision based on a new set of priorities. In the near future, we have the Three of Wands reversed and the Nine of Pentacles. Just when you think it's not going to happen, abundance pops in out of nowhere. Tower reversed at the bottom of the deck, suddenly, unexpectedly, out of nowhere. You were just done waiting. They're giving me like you were starting to feel foolish for waiting for this abundance to arrive for so long. And it's just when you stop waiting that it's going to appear. Now, when I get the Nine of Pentacles in a context of a relationship spread that looks like the relationship might be on the rocks, it could indicate a breakup because the Nine of Pentacles is an extremely independent energy. Now we might not be focusing on that element of the card for this, for what Spirit intends here, but um, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention that to you. Let's see. Surprise energy, ah, Queen of Swords as surprise energy. Um, this is like a flash of insight. You, okay. This is either going to be you reflecting on something your person has said, and you're suddenly gonna put all the pieces together and realize Oh my goodness, how could I have not seen that before? But once you see it, once you understand it, once it clicks, it all makes sense. Or they may say something to you that they've said a million times, only this time you can read between the lines what they really mean. Either way, it's this eureka moment. Like, oh, I can't believe I didn't see that before. Your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles. If you're potentially breaking up with someone who is the breadwinner, you might worry about whether or not you can find work, whether or not you'll the, the work that you have will be able to pay your bills. If, if you're worried about finances, I think this combination for the near future is here to tell you that you won't need to worry for very much longer. There's some, there's a sum of money on its way to you or the means by which you can become affluently abundant is going to fall in your lap. Show me the end result. Seven of Cups. Um, yeah, okay. In a relationship context, Seven of Cups is most likely you're going to be more focused on where else you can head. Because it talks about emotional options being considered. Mm -hmm. 
It is possible that these options are discussed within the context of one relationship. Like, well, here's a few ways we could handle this. How are we going to sort out this thing within our relationship? What do we want? Give me more on the Seven of Cups. Comes with the King of Cups. Okay, because we have the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck when that came out, I'm inclined to think that you're going to feel positively about whatever options come up here. It's going to lead to you feeling more emotionally stable and happy and fulfilled and secure. And like you have the truth on your side or you have a clarity of understanding, like trusting the person that tells you they love you or trusting what they have to offer you is pure emotionally. Let's get you some advice. How can Libra work with these energies for their highest and best good? Three of Cups. Stay in the moment, focus on more on what's happening now, the happiness that you can experience in the present moment. If you're not finding happiness within this relationship, this is saying, find the, the area of your life that will provide happiness to you now. Whether that's your family, your friends, some sort of social interaction that you're craving that's gonna make you happier. Now, if you're already considering whether or not you should start dating, like as a, as a general concept, should I be dating people? This would be a confirmation that yes, you should. But Spirit's very careful to say that's, that's only for those of you who are, have already been considering doing that and feeling like that would be the right thing for you. Okay, Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.